I've created the vaccine. It's gonna save the world. Well, not really. It's uh, water and food dye, and I'm gonna put it away for here now. I'm gonna use that later. Today, it's all about the new smoke machine. <laughs> oh, it kind of works, I guess. I just got myself a new Hacer, uh, sort of like a smoke machine. Eurolite NH30MK2 DMX Hacer. Um, you can use uh, different kinds of fluids. I'm gonna show you later which one I'm using. I also have built this rig. <laughs> uh, it uh, looks really shitty, but I think it's gonna work. Uh, the idea is that the smoke is gonna go through this tube and into this box, which I'm gonna fill with ice. I've also made this uh, grid, which is gonna stop the ice from coming out of this hole. I'm just gonna fill this with the crushed ice. I've tried some variations of this, uh, sort of worked, but uh. I've had some issues with getting the smoke uh, cold enough, so I'm gonna try something different today and we'll see if that does it. Before I do that, I'm gonna turn this on and just show you how it works normally. The actual uh, fluid container, it's red right now. Uh, when it's ready, it's gonna be lighting up blue. You can see it going blue, purple right now. Uh, the controller is lighting up green. Sorry. I'm gonna press it right now just so you can see. Uh, this is a heavy density fog, so it's thick and it's long lasting. So I see the smoke coming right now. I'm just holding it in for now. It's gonna stop. It's pretty thin now, you can barely see it. But if you actually use a light, you can see like uh, the light rays, I guess, and where the streaks, oh, the smoke is super visible right here. This whole room is filled up with smoke right now. Holy damn. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> Weirdly enough, the fire alarm doesn't go off. I don't know why. Yeah, you can see the effects here. Like diffuses the smoke. If you were to see this without the smoke, you could see it way more clearly. Now let me turn down the ISO. And you can make some really cool effects with this. Right now the smoke is kind of evenly spread across the room and you can see this cool effect if you look right here. Like you can kind of see the smoke but if it were to sit a little bit longer you can barely see it and it's just this cool effect. I'm going to show you some different effects later. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm gonna go get the ice and I'm gonna show you this machine or this box. Like normally this will be... I can show you actually. Enter this room. There's no smoke in here. You can see how it looks. Like boring. <laughs> And if we come out here, we're gonna see the difference. There's this soft layer around it from the smoke. Well, it's actually super visible right now. Yeah. You see this soft layer of light? That's like the effect you get from a very thin layer of smoke or haze. We got this box filled with crushed ice. 
Uh, the tube goes into the bottom here and it comes out here where I have a grid. Hopefully this will work and it will keep the uh, smoke cool enough to lay low on the ground. So let's see, I'm just going to turn the lid on. So you can see it leaks. But here you can see the smoke is coming out cold. It goes straight down. It sort of works. The problem is the smoke is just not cold enough and it spreads too fast or it rises too fast. So the smoke is actually, there's not a lot of smoke um, up here, but next to the ground there's uh, way more smoke, but it does not get the effect that I wanted, which is like a super low hanging fog like around this high I'm just gonna lay over the floor like dry ice uh, yeah I'm having some issues turn it on again you can see the fog comes out it feels really cold Then it just rises way too fast. Uh, it's <laughs> oh, it kind of works, I guess. But yeah, I need to make it colder somehow. Yeah, that's it for this room. Here's my green screen. Just look at this smoke filling up the room. God damn, that's a lot of smoke. Here we go. It's the Extreme E Eurolite smoke fluid. It's supposed to be heavy and long lasting and uh, water based. When I open this room now, you're gonna see a lot of smoke. I might need another tube right here, a longer tube with ice in it. So I guess that would be my next attempt. Another thing I could try is someone is using like a ice cooler, uh, which is bigger. You can have more ice uh, and it also uh, gives the smoke more time inside like the cold area and it might even stay even cooler than this ordinary plastic box so maybe it's better if it's like a proper cooler I'm gonna let this smoke fan out and then I'm gonna show you one last effect using this I promised you one more effect so I'm gonna show you a different way to use uh, smoke in your videos if you want it. Uh, turn this on I'm just gonna turn this up and smoke this is a different kind of effect you can use you can fill the smoke you could fill this uh, container with smoke and have some RGB lights down here. It looks like a freezer, you know. And like this is a vaccine or something. I don't know. You can imagine if you come into a dark room, there's a box and you open it, uh, like a treasure chest or something. So yeah, that's one. 
one way to use this effect. Yeah, so that was it. Just a small update on what I'm experimenting on, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's fun to have a smoke machine. Um, gonna try out some different ways to cool down the smoke. Maybe a longer tube or a bigger box or just a colder room could work. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, I will update you as soon as I figure this out. Uh, I hope you liked the video and if you want to follow my journey just subscribe and you will get the updates once they're there. Yeah, that's great.